it out. Yeah, and it would look like uh, Razo actually just weighed up the ledge, and then he timed his neutral get up right when the cross ledge was ending. So you would have the invincibility, avoid the last hit, and then just easily throw him off stage. Yeah, really good timing. It actually can be very scary. Uh, me personally, I would just like wait till it's done. Yeah, but you know, then, Razo. You know, he, Razo. He made speech. You know, he got those hands. Yeah, he got those hands. <laughs> he can man. do that. Razo very confident in that play, and that honestly, really good stuff. It was able to net oh, him the instant punish. Shout out to the Kangan for the breeze sub. <laughs> you know. Oh, he won the giveaway. When the heck? Was it? Oh, champ. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess I wonder if champ knew that he tripped the code over here. <laughs> <laughs> is that why he got it? That, that actually should he should not get it anyway. As I was playing IDK. All right, so Mr. Art of Mr. IDK. Art of himself. Yeah, Art of. We're gonna see some Art of Link right now. Down throw into okay. No uh, up tilt. Goes for the neutral there. Oh, no. okay. I like how the boomerang brought him at. He got the jabs out of it. Really no, hard uh, uh, just for IDK to get in, man. Yeah, yeah. Last time I actually saw this match was uh, Scizor versus Konga. And it basically came down to DK gets oppressed by all these projectiles. But oh, then moments like dead. this. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, really good wow. edge guard from IDK. He actually timed it so his up B armored or he was just invincible when the bomb blew up. So it didn't take oh, yeah, him out of the up B. So that was really that's, good. Yeah, that's actually very intelligent. Okay, up smash, no rage. Yeah, wow, just no enough. rage required. Just no. Yeah, I think that was back air one into the up smash. Back air one is like one of his aerials you can use a combo into most of his moves. Okay, good. Good recognition there from IDK to uh, not get hit by the uh, back air one into the grab. There's. Yeah, that was a really good cross up coming up from Izal. So down air, but he still gets his ledge trap. Good corner pressure. You know, um, I'm not really seeing uh, Izal rely on just throwing the projectiles and walling out DK as much as I thought. I thought yeah. that would actually make the matchup much more difficult for uh, IDK. But he's kind of doing it now, more so just retreating. Usually, when you're you're projectile camping like this, it'll be more uh, you're like putting yourself in the corner. Um, but now he's like getting way more aggressive. Oh, okay, nice that was drop. a nice setup. Okay, they're looking for the bump snipe and like the delay on the upbeat, yeah. so he can get past that. But now he's trying to get to stage. There's no trips back to the corner. Still living here. Oh no! Are you dead? Oh, almost. <laughs> that would just be tragic. That to actually would have been tragic. Like Link of all people. Like you're supposed to be super heavy. There's another delay. Oh. Oh, Early missing these hits. It's okay. Oh man, that's gonna yeah. kill. I wonder if that was a 50-50. Like, I wonder if you could have just jumped out of the situation. Wow, that like sent him nowhere. Yeah, that was really good coverage, especially when you're like one hit away versus a character that can just grab you if you mess up just slightly. Yeah. And Link is like a uh, fast faller and he's heavy, so I'm assuming even if IDK got the grab there with that much rage, it would have comboed into Ding Dong or yeah. at least got a 50 50. So that was actually a very, very close game. Um, really clutch edge guard coming out from IDK, and I think that's where he's going to have to really put on the pressure on Lies All. Right. Just start that kind of shaky at the beginning for Lies All. He's going to go for another one? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Right. Oh, oh wow, goodness. that was enough. <laughs> As I say, off stage, IDK is like, got it, and then he just goes in, man. You know, I like it. If you have to, if you're a grappler and you're playing against a zone kill like this, you can't necessarily rely on your grab follow-ups. Oh, or, or, or can you? Or can you? Oh, are you dead? You're, you're, oh, you're almost dead. <laughs> that oh was, my goodness. He like almost died right there. Maybe if the platform was rose up a little bit more, but got it. I just, I just like how well-rounded IDK is. Yeah, yeah. I feel for like sure. he doesn't. Fish for the, you know, the cargo throw. He mainly just try to get his hands on eyes off, force him off stage, utilize his oh. edge guarding tools, and if opportunity presents itself for the yeah. cargo throw, then he goes for it. But I was always going to take that stock. Yeah, with that crazy shield pressure, that forward air is such a good tool for Link. I mean, we're, we're commentating yeah. T at the oh, uh, championship. Goodness. And yeah, look, look at, at that. Look at, like, he's, he's getting shield poke. Like, you actually can't shield right there. Yeah. He, he has to just take the hit, otherwise, <laughs> broken shield. But 
Oh, we're okay, going to go for the forward air. I think, okay, now a grab will be definitely And he threw his bomb as well. Oh, no, pull another one in time. All right, this is the... Uh, it's going to be hard, IDK walking a little bit more. There's no platforms to reset on, so if IDK does get close to him, here's the grab, and I think that's right. it. Good stuff to IDK. He's going to take game two against Izal. That Beat Smash dudes, man. was clean. Elegant's no. teammate, bro. Okay, hey, you know, you represent BB Smash dudes out here. It's not just Elegant. They got Arvark. They got Izal here. Also... Is Izal from Europe? Yeah. Yeah. Sweden, I think. Also, uh, the French Zero Suit player. Quick. Also representing BB Smash dudes. But, uh, yeah, that was really clean from IDK. I like how, even though uh, he was in Link's face, he played very patiently, just walked right outside of range. And just wait for the opening for the grab. I like to see that from uh, grappler characters. Oh yeah, and it was, it was a really smart walk, and he could apply that pressure too because like that transformation of Townsend, he had no platform. So yeah. really, really smart stuff. Gets the trip. Okay, I think since he got the trip, he didn't go for the up smash. I don't know if it, I think that's only true at absolute zero. So, all right. So Izal going to utilize these platforms. He can <laughs> uh, definitely pull bombs while rising up into the air. And have like throw that projectile down. You know, bombs and stuff like that are one of the few projectiles you can throw down, or even like Peach's turnups and stuff like that. So, a little bit more unique. No, something uh, I just got to be careful of. If he is going to play the uh, platform game, he can't, he can't hold shield yeah, on the platform. That, and he can't hold shield too much because he can just side B if oh. he knows he's committing to shield. Oh, yeah, and you get that juicy shield break and DK smash attack goes so early. I like the drift change up right there from IDK, able to get back onto the ground. The bomb is in place. And this is where uh, the projectile camping is a little different from Toon Link. Toon Link, they, oh, he hits the forward air spike onto the ground. Dude, wow. IDK's option choice is just, it's, it's so unique, but it makes so much sense. Yes. That was really good. And like Toon Link, so Toon Link's bomb pool is actually faster. Link's is slower, but Link's bombs are. Um, less sensitive so you can actually like it bounces off a shield and it'll stay on the ground kind of like a little trap Ooh, and was that down smash that was actually the f tilt oh, which is really good to deal with dk he's so big that yeah. most moves you throw out there will just smack him for getting off the ledge uh, or rolling in yeah that move is so strong man at, uh links f tilt is very uh, kind of similar to knockback of lucina's forward smash so very very strong move but we have eyes over here with the ledge trapping again, making it very difficult for IDK right now. Great F2 as well. Yeah, and usually characters with um, all these items that they can set up, their ledge trapping is very, very strong. Uh, even characters like DDD's Gordo and stuff like that. If you can just set up anything while someone's on the ledge, uh, that ledge trap game is very, very good. Oh, that shield so tiny. Double fire does so much, but oh, sneaks in the upper just barely. 106. We've seen DK make these types of comebacks time and time again. Izal can't really afford ooh, but to the, let up at all. The bomb confirmed, man. Nice. Really good stuff.